eight children, one mother, no house. This one room wooden structure is what Anzia Stanley and her eight children now call home. A tearful Miss Stanley tells the CNC3 News that since her husband died four years ago, things have gotten very tough and she is forced to rent a piece of land here in Mayaru to house her family. She says requests for assistance from her Member of Parliament did not turn out too well. Gypsy them came up and when they came up, they bring material, 15000 I think. With the material, all they do is just, with the CPEP workers, they just frame the thing and they leave it and they go on and never came back. She says that even though she tried helping herself with the last Friday's downpour of rain, things took a turn for the worst. I witnessed this whole thing. The child was sleeping inside it. The double like a bed, we're holding up that right now. I witnessed the roof fly off of her from there. As I opened my eye, the whole roof gone. All I can do is take my little children and run by the neighbor. Miss Stanley is appealing for someone to hear her cry and render assistance. Most of my things went up, furniture, everything, 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 everything. All I asked for the longest while is a proper home for my children and them. A proper home. Help me, please. She says... Following the disaster, some neighbors helped construct a one-bedroom structure made up of old wood and used galvanized for her family to sleep under. And the one visit from the regional corporation produced two mattresses, two cases of water, and a box of groceries. She says her children still need beds, clothes, school books, and food. For CNC3, I am Chester Sambrano.